Welcome to the search strategy tutorial. Let's say you have an assignment where you're asked to research the media and you decide to focus on the effect media has on teenage girls body image. Are you still searching Google for your topic by typing in entire sentences? Do you try the same strategy in library databases? You can do better. This video will outline some strategies you can use to find relevant information quickly and efficiently. You'll want to begin by identifying keywords to use as search terms. Let's go back to your research question. How does the media affect teenage girls' body image? The key concepts here are media, teenage girls, and body image. These are the words that we will use to search. Notice that we won't use the term effect. Many people use this term while searching, but it's actually too vague to be very useful. It can add irrelevant articles to your search or eliminate relevant ones. Use only the words that best represent your topic. If you're not sure, ask yourself, could this keyword be a topic on its own? Once you've identified the keywords you will use to search, combine them together with AND to get information that contain all those words. I got 42 results. This isn't too bad, but my teacher says I have to use sources that were published within the last six years and that two of my sources have to be scholarly. Well, a great feature of databases is all the tools and limiting features that they have to help you focus your search. In this particular database, there's a box I can check here to limit to scholarly peer-reviewed articles. I can also choose to limit to more recent information if currency matters for my topic. Now I have 19 results. Hmm, it seems like there should be more information on this topic. Well, there probably is. Since authors may use different words to refer to the same topic, it's always a good idea to brainstorm some synonyms and related terms to incorporate into your search to ensure you're getting all the relevant results on your topic. Let's look at our main concepts. Maybe I'm really interested in women's portrayal in films specifically. Let's add that to our search. Another way to refer to teenagers is adolescence. And body image can affect teenage girls' self-esteem. So let's add these to our list of search terms. Once you've brainstormed some synonyms and related terms, you want to add them to your search with OR. Now I have a few more results. Also, as you're going through and looking at the results of your search, keep an eye out for subject terms and other useful search terms you can incorporate into your search. Another great way to find information on your topic is to trace the scholarly conversation happening around a particular article. For example, I found this article and it's given me lots of useful information on my topic. By looking at the reference list, I can trace the conversation back and see what sources these authors read which informed and influenced this study. I can also trace the conversation forward by using Google Scholar. Simply find the article you are using. and click the Cited By link to see what researchers read this article and used it in their research. It takes time for an article to be read by other scholars and make an impact in the field, but if an article is cited many times, you know that the authors have been influential and important contributors to the conversation and research on this topic. To review, in order to search effectively and efficiently in databases, you want to first identify keywords to use as search terms. Remember, use only the most important concepts related to your research question. Use AND between keywords to connect the different ideas. In our search, we combined media, AND, teenage girls, and body image.
instead of scrolling through tons of results or picking the first article listed, use the database tools to refine and narrow your search. If you find you're not getting enough relevant results, Try brainstorming some synonyms and related terms and adding those to your search with OR. Keep an eye out for other useful search terms like subject headings as you look for information on your topic. Lastly, as you gather information to write your paper or do your assignment, get to know the scholarly conversation taking place. College level research means adding your analysis and ideas to the conversation. And remember, database searching takes practice. Even the most experienced researcher can get stuck. So if that happens, don't struggle. Ask a librarian. <laughs>